Alrighty. Let us do some mapping for a new slaughter gameplay focused speed map set that I'm working on. Started um, a couple of days ago. Currently on map 6, as in starting map 6, out of however many I have ideas for. Part when I could watch an MFG 38 stream for once. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Zach. And thank you for the reason. How are you today? Anyway, yeah, so. Thinking 16 sites should suffice. Doing good, glad to hear. I am not too shabby myself, thanks for asking. Right, so. Seriously, the only solid curl flat in Altex. Okay, that changes my plans. But thankfully, there are other flats that I can work with. For a emote. And thank you for the bits. Always starts with balls. <laughs> more or less, more or less. Hmm, I can use this one though. Not quite a solid color, but works for my purposes. Good. Wood. 
It's a white boy. Except not exactly. Plop down the player sword. A sir. You're also watching 360p, so you can make some stuff else. Work. Not no monsters mode, thank. to put ambush um, flex on this. That's flat. Um, 
those. Extend this a tiny bit. That should be good. Copy paste this son of a bitch. Copy it down here. And then. Maze map. Sort of. Oh no. gonna be a very cool map. I can feel it in my bones. Eventually these lights will lead you into the next combat arena, which is gonna be something interesting to say the least, but I'm not gonna reveal what I have in mind just yet. You shall have to wait and see it for yourself. I did not mean to rip that vertex. By its ball sack. Why would I grab a vertex by its ball sack? Does this have one? Not as far as I know.
If anything, it just is a ball sack. <laughs> yeah, basically. Hi, Mr. Creamity. How are you today? Yep, there we go. Then it's gonna occur this way. Working, chilling. Let's see here. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be one of the more experimental maps I've made. I'm gonna have to double check that the player can actually see that one from the distance. Rectal of the internal organs, you end up getting cooked out of the same spawn. <laughs> I love you. Never change, please. Yeah, it's just visible enough for all from over there. No problem whatsoever. I think this can go to like the silly border at the end somewhere. Put down a couple more of these. Then I'm gonna extend one last part of the corridor from here. And at the end shall be... a teleporter. I'm actually gonna... So I can align it a tiny bit better. I'm 
I'm gonna want to hide this corridor on the auto map though. Make it that much harder on the player. Not that this is exactly hard in the first place, but... Wouldn't want to give the player an unfair advantage, so to speak. So, I'm gonna do that real quick. <laughs> you wish. Initially show an auto map. No map, sorry. <laughs> I need help. Hope you're well today. And it's not actually visible on the automatic. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Dr. Z. <laughs> that's not my name. TV mode. TTV, rather. Which I sadly don't have installed, so. I know some of the emotes, av emotes available in that. But not all of them. Install it, yeah. Anyway, oh, why is that not? Oh, I see, that's why. Nope. 
Right. Then what I'm gonna do is make the second and only other battle arena in this map. Which is gonna be interesting, to say the least. Should work. Really pulls vertices. Then curve these. build or my favorite tool and I'm just gonna move this to be in line with the I'm familiar with that. Anyway, hi Drake Spiker, how are you today? Oh, I see. I'm gonna have to give that a spin one of these days. Like waves on the 
right. So. These. Are going to be. Snowy cool. <laughs> Only one person for that joke, yeah. This is gonna look so cool in game. Once I actually finish what I have in mind here. I can tell you, it's gonna involve some voodoo doll magic. I'm too used to doing my editing in 3D mode for my own good. tedious part. Selecting all of these in order. And tugging them. The tugging is in the tedious part. Selecting pieces because I want to make sure that you remember mapping for this game as a kid and not having 3D mode. <laughs> that must have been pain. sector on these points here and that's gonna act as the top destination from over here. I'm gonna want to make monster blocking so that the arch file can't escape from here. And I just realized I'm still in no monsters mode. Oh well though. Now comes the fun part. The voodoo doll. Right. 
right about there should be fine. Are you on the auto map? Sec 38. Oh, hey, it's my number. So to speak. 253, 38. And then. At least thirty six of these. Uh, how many is that now? Two, four, six, eight, and well, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Twenty, twenty two. Just for easier visibility. For my own sake. Ah, uh, fuck. I miscounted somewhere. No biggie though. The other day, that worked reliably in all engines and score for function to be no longer than 32 map pixels. Mm. We'll see about that. We'll see. Light. I'm gonna try it this way first, and then change it, if needed. One of the floor scroller things, when a player object sets off triggers, yep. Also known as voodoo laws. A classic. Build trick. I will most likely need to tweak this setup later. But I'll do what I can with what I have at the moment. Let's 
it's a little bit simpler if players start down here. Yeah, fucking nice. Oh, this is gonna so. I mean, it already looks cool. But it's gonna look even cooler. In just a few moments. Move these. Ever so slightly. Yeah. Oops. There is gonna be some lag here, really visibly. But I don't care about that too much. Merge that to that. Finally. And so pretty one. Then we merge that with that. I just need to identify the lag point. Right about there. <clears throat> Not a big problem though. I'm almost thinking... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So, what I'm gonna do is extend Chances are these will be temper lines, but I 
just want to... with 36 sides. These can go away. Stair sector builder. I think you've already ate. Three sets of this. Building here next is gonna be something very cool indeed. Something to add to the wow factor of this scene, if you will. Make me wish all text had a like just a slate white flat, which it sadly does not. Anyway, then I select these sectors and give them that flat. Also, set their brightness to zero, and then we to do some tedious shit again. I want this to start at the same point. Mm, there are about mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. One and then one, two, three. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What I'm also gonna need to do is give all of these sectors the special aid. Now, let's see how it looks. Yep, pretty cool, pretty cool. It's like a spaceship, almost. I fucking love this. Music works well for this room. Yeah, it definitely does. Sadly, this isn't the music track I intend to use in this map, because it's not a MIDI. Then what I'm gonna do is draw a square in the middle. Move these ever so slightly again. You would just see it kind of going with the beats. Yeah, yeah. Mm, not that quite. This one. Another square around that square. One thing I will do there we go. And possibly also... Adjust these. So that they're... Just reach each one of these by 32. And that should do it. Then what I do is texture these with that. Hmm. 
I'm thinking. Thanks, Mr. Grimity. And enjoy the meetings. See you later. Thank you for the follow. I do hope you enjoy your stay. I hate to admit this, but mapping isn't something I stream very regularly here. But I do hope to start doing it more. Mostly what I do on this channel is like playthroughs of Doom Wars. But that may change in the nearish future. Because I'm like super fucking deep into this. Into the Doom mapping group now. I don't stream often in general. <laughs> also true, also true. Won't lie. I did used to do like a stream or two in a week, but I'm not entirely sure what happened. It just kind of fell by the wayside recently. But hopefully it'll... Hopefully it'll pick up the base again. Alright. Then it's time to implement some combat for this room. And I have... A very evil idea in regards to that. Well... We'll see how evil it turns out to be, at any rate. Is that only forty two? Whatever.
sleep horizontally. Mm, is that roughly... mode, fuck. You're in paid star, grab your booth, get ghost lay. Not sure if I'll put a BFG in here. Shall have one invulnerability to make it easier on you. And maybe also a weapon. Turn this into a berserk. Select the invul down over here. And then just a temporary involved there for Five invulnerabilities stacked on top of each other. Now the only question is... 
How do I want the player to bring the exit down? As in this thing. Speaking of exits, might want to slide that down. fight sort of unexpected and unpredictable is the fact that by default PR Boom Plus doesn't count the lost souls as monsters. So when you look at the enemy count you're not necessarily prepared for all the lost souls. Pain sounds like a swarm of bees. <laughs> of course in GZ Doom it's gonna be different because that one does count the lost soul kills. The tricky part is going to be existing the cyber demon to death. But it is doable, it is doable. Nice lighting, thanks Bacadum. And welcome to the stream, how are you today? Still thinking about the exit. Doing fine, let's see here. Like the ops like the exit is obviously the middle pillar. But it's just like How do you bring that down? Is mostly the question. Could put in a switch somewhere, but that's gonna clash pretty visibly with the overall aesthetic of this map. And I can't tie it to the cyber demon either in any way.
Maybe I'll simply do like a... And that's gonna make it so easy though. If chats would happen to have any ideas, I am happily all ears. As to how I'm gonna bring this exit down. Make it so that it lowers when you pick up the in wall. But that's gonna make the battle too easy because you can just run to the exit as soon as it lowers. Like I said, switches. Switches are literally the last thing I want to do. Actually, I might have an idea. It's so like the Is there a way I can like not select the things while I select the there is actually Why didn't I think of this that one minute ago?
Right. Then, I'm gonna make just a temporary... Alright, time to start drawing some numbers. I think if I wanna... I'm gonna need to... Number 
three will be over here. Obviously leads this one. Kinda makes me wish I was working UDMF for this mapset. Thanks to its full loading point precision. But alas, I am not. Then what I'm gonna need to do is set up another conveyor belt. This extra player start and move this one back to the start of the map. Forty three tags. Almost the most I've ever used in a single map. Almost. Then I'm gonna need to set up some... Smoke for the time being and just traverse the map to the end. Um, I might want to set up the this first. These are gonna do is I 
Mm, where is it? And tag 32. Eight items in the map, and I know exactly what those are. Deep Redemption, thank you, Zach. Although I already hydrated once. Okay, so. to do. It's set up. when I say no sarcasm, I end up realizing. Anyway. Um, temporary player start. business only in this chat, yep.
Then we test the entire map. Two monsters. But no. The monster count lies. Until the final battle where right? music track would work for this map. Because I haven't picked that out yet, even though I already have the map name. I'll just kind of ignore the side. Bird demon. Fuck. <sighs> well, at least I know the map is theoretically beatable. Mancubus digestion noises, what do you mean? Anyway. Mono of enjoyment. <laughs> you wish. now. How many lost souls is that exactly? Um, I can just select one and then... Mm, see where the highest number is. Just looks to be somewhere in the 200. There's like 40. Is that 43 per? 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 16, 23. Twenty eight, thirty three, thirty six, thirty nine, forty two per point of this star. So two hundred and ten. There's two hundred and ten lost souls. In addition to the Archfall and the Cyber Demon. Yay! <laughs> On times ahead. Basically, this map done. Although, I am gonna give this teleporter. layer, if you will. No, not that. Game. I can actually just run for the Archibald since he can't enter the maze here. But why would you want to do that? Sometimes, sometimes. Many lost souls as you can. 
while punching your way through them to the cyber demon. Do what damage you can to the cyber demon that way while you're still, still invulnerable. It looks like a shit post fight, but there is a surprisingly deep strategy to it. I think. Mm, anyway, here. That's more or less it for this one. Just under two hours of work, not bad. But this is not the end of the stream, because... I'm thinking... What I'm gonna do to end this stream for today is give you a little preview of sorts of this new map system. So we load those two files. Herb. If that's a BRB. See you later, Isaac. Lava Ball Snap, nope. Something else. Still haven't finished that, sadly. Anyway. I do realize that I'm kind of going to give away the title of the project here. But yeah, Scorpion. A collection of slaughter speed maps by MFG38. So that's six maps at the moment towards this one. Not sure how many maps this is ultimately. <coughs> Excuse me, going to have. But I am hoping to make at least an episode's worth of them. Meaning that if this mapping pace keeps up, like roughly a map per day every day, this might see the light of day as soon as this weekend. Not promising anything, but it is a possibility. So yeah, we have this cool title screen here and the M Doom graphic with a little scorpion on top. So, difficulty settings haven't been implemented for this and most likely will never be. But, um, anyway. So here's map one. Generally, my strategy for this map is to run past the revenants and help knights here. Lure the revenants into attacking the king, he is doing work that time though. Death egg. So recognize the music, yay! No surprise though. Given that it is from Sonic the Game. Wow, why am I suddenly so bad at this? Oh, yeah. Generally, how I approach this map is. Taking like all the hits today. Fuck it, just go over there. 
you, Baron. And maybe as long as we some more. Actually, that race is all good. Double check the wall units, by the way. I'm pretty proud of the aesthetic in this map. Mostly because of the like the surrounding walls in these rooms. The idea for this aesthetic may or may not have been sort of stolen from perfection E18. Which I'm not even, I'm not really sure if it, if you would equate that to stealing, seeing as it is a map I made. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's map one basically. Map two. Is this sort of thing. It does have a tiny bit of lava in it. And yeah, pick the music for as in the music tracks for the first five maps. And, also, and I also have the map titles for them already. As well as map 6, which I just made earlier in this stream. Anyway. An archwell up there. You could basically get rid of him as soon as possible. But that would kind of ruin the purpose of the map. That's why there's all this cover. So you can quickly run to safety from the arch file whenever he attacks. Basically, map two. On to map three, which is arguably one of the more experimental maps that I've made for the set so far. Also, the music track is essentially a mashup of. Two different music tracks, one video game, and one not video game. I'll leave it up to you to guess which ones, based upon what you're hearing, actually. Just so you can hear the time better. That's the music track for this map. So name 
while one of them is robots team from the Chrono Trigger. But the other one, I'll leave up to you, yes. The Watcher, the Viewer, etc. Now, there is another combat option, is that? But chances are I'll intentionally get killed by the remnants before we get there. Like right about now. What do you want to spoil the hook? What do you want to spoil the entire maps, you know? Thought you were hearing Rick Astley. <laughs> you would be correct. It is indeed that Rick Astley song. And yeah, map 4. Which is basically. Charcoal map 19, but slightly upscaled. With about. I think three times the enemy count. So you just circle straight around the Spider Masterminds and Cyber Demons. With partial invisibility. Wait for that to run out. Let the Cybees get rid of the Masterminds and then just. BFG was left over. Or you can choose not to BFG what's left over. I can't tell you what to do. As much as I wish I could. Yep. That's basically map 4, and finally... Map 5. Which is arguably the... most insane map that I've made for this set so far. Accompanied by an original music track by yours. Pinkies, Hell Knights, Cyber Demon, possibly another one somewhere. Revenants, Chain Gunners, maybe an Archfall or two, or four. And over here, the other Cyber Demon. And Pico Demons. But wait, what's that up there? Nine hundred and thirteen monsters in this single map. Which is the second highest number. So far, anyway. Next to map 1's, which is exactly 1500 monsters in that one map. in a nutshell, so far, at any rate. 
look forward to this sometime soon. Not entirely sure how soon, but we'll see, we'll see. Impasse ending. <laughs> yeah, basically. Anyway. I think... That's enough of a stream for today. So... Let me just get the end screen up. And go over to... Stream Labs. Widgets, and credits, and roll. I do wish the automated thing worked properly, so I wouldn't have to do this manually. But, it is what it is. There's very little I can do about it. Anyway, yeah. And then we're gonna go see if anyone readable is alive. Someone readable is indeed live. So Professor Soundman shall be today's rate target. He's doing some Plutonia 2 speedrun attempt, it looks like. Raid commencing in 3, 2, 1. And on that note, thanks to everyone who tuned in. MFG, out.